my god. We just heard the sound of the elephant. Wow. It was good we came. Ah, it's here. Come, come. Very big one. You seen it? Okay, we should pass here. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. Have you watched? I mean, even though I've already seen one, I was hoping to see them um, like a lot with their calves and their with their family. <laughs> you can see that it's very dark it's about um 4 20 in the morning almost it's almost i think i didn't check the time but it's almost 5 a.m and i am ready i am going to mole national park i have to go early because i have to reach on time and so i have here my breakfast and <laughs> jennifer how are you i had to wake jennifer up because I mean, she has to go with me to there. And this is my my yellow, yellow is ready. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> so, um, after three minutes of drive, I am currently at the the station. It's it's very close to the market, right? It's Abuabo Market. Abuabo Market. But guess what? There is no bus at the station. Everywhere is empty. Everywhere is empty. And so my yellow yellow driver is is finding out for me what time they usually start work so that I could wait or something. So I'm finding another alternative. See ya. So are you going to another station? Okay. So I am at another station and it's funny how I thought I had wanted to really really come early so that I could meet the first bus but it looks like the people in Tamale <laughs> are not morning people like me and so I think I have to wait for some time to like 6 I don't know if I have to go back or I would even stay because my house is not too far from here and Jennifer here is also making inquiries for me so that I get the right um, vehicle to take so yeah so this is the car I'm going to be using to um, a town called Damango and Daman from Damango to um, Mole National Park is just about 10 minutes so this is the vehicle it's currently not full I can see about six people waiting behind there and it takes 15 people so we are waiting for other people before the vehicle can move so my friend is leaving bye so yeah so I'm sorted let's go guys uh, I have to pay for my ticket which costs 12 cities which is equal to two dollars and so everyone is also picking their ticket so i have my ticket now the bus is ready the bus just settled it's currently 8-1 and I have arrived at the bus station and so let's continue the journey one of the things you should also know is um, almost everyone speaks English here and so communication is very easy when you don't understand anything you have to ask so he brought us here and I want to ask him <laughs> oh is that I'm recording a yeah, video <laughs> yes have you project work or what? I'm doing uh, I'm a YouTuber I have, a, I have a YouTube channel like for, I post videos when I visit any region or any country I post videos. But here is the regional capital of uh, uh, this region, Savannah region. Here? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Savannah region. Alright. 
So guys, if you guys don't know Savannah region, Sa Savannah region was just created from the northern region. It used to be, it used to be the northern region, yes, and it's now called the Savannah, Savannah region. region. And the biggest region in Ghana. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the biggest region in Ghana. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I am I am heading towards the next bus station. It's just a walking distance from where the VVIP station is. From here to uh, from here to Larabanga is, is how much? A drop tax. Drop? No, no. Loading tax. Loading tax is five cities per head. And we take five cities per head. Yeah. Okay. We take either four or five. Four or five people. Either four or five. Okay. If you have four, the car is moving. But for example, when you have three people uh, and two come to add, mm. you only leave one and take one. Oh, okay. Okay, and then if I want straight to Mole National? If you want straight to Mole, we'll make it. Let's make it 40. 40 cities. That is the loading. No, no, no. Drop it. Because when you go with this yeah. to Laravanga, yeah. the price is the why well, they don't have a they don't have a commercial vehicle that goes to straight to Mali? Why is it, is it like far from town? It's not far from Larabanga. Only the thing is that if you drive there, you come back. In. So it's 20 cities for Ghanaian adults. And this is their entrance fee. So I am currently at the Mole National Park and thanks to my driver, he's helping me hold the camera. And so this is how I look guys. How do I look? Let me know in the comment section. Let's go inside guys. So I am currently at the reception at the Moli National Park and what it is is um, when you come here without a vehicle you are supposed to rent one of the jeeps either this jeep or this type of jeep I think I will choose this jeep because it looks <laughs> it looks something I can I, I, I kind of like this better than this uh, modern jeep and so you have to rent a jeep which cost 100 Ghana cities per hour. But here is a case, um, I missed the morning safari, so I would have joined other tourists to go for the safari ride. And so now I have to pay 100 Ghana cities to be on the jeep alone. If I should wait for some time, I'm sure I'll get other tourists joining me and then we can split the cost and then um, pay for the safari. So that is, that is the whole cost right now because i'm alone and so that's it so i'm going to make payments in there it's a military zone so flying of drones at the park is not allowed it's not allowed at all and you have to register your um your ride at the office before we start the the tour so hello sir what's your name i'm john you are john okay so my tour guide is called john and i am going with him i'm going alone guys can you imagine i thought i was going to meet other tourists oh Video. This video is brought to you by 
Maya shea butter. Maya shea butter is made from a rich blend of authentic Ghanaian shea butter, coconut and olive oils, and other essential skin and hair enriching nutrients. With its sweet fragrance and smooth rich texture, Maya Shea Butter will leave your skin looking radiant and beautiful with your hair full and well moisturized. Order from our Instagram page to get a surprise gift with your purchase. Maya Shea Butter is Ghanaian made but is based in the US and currently ships to USA, Canada and Mexico. Follow their Instagram page at Maya Shea Butter for a Christmas giveaway and the good part is the winner of the giveaway will be announced on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned. So I am currently approaching the Zaina Lodge. This is Zaina Lodge, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we stopped right at the entrance of the Zaina Lodge, and we are walking to go see some elephants. So, yeah. Antelopes. Oh, that's he's running. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Guys, just look at this elephant. The last time I saw an elephant was in Bali. And I get to see it today. And it's so huge. Wow. I should come this way. so huge i can turn right okay. oh, john says i am not lucky it's their mating season so i will not find them in groups too bad why is that so though so when is the right time to get them in groups uh that is uh, dry season dry season yes after mating so starting from december then you'll be around you'll be around come in numbers oh okay oh i see yes. so are we hoping to see more Maybe, maybe it's, it's nature, so I, I can't tell. I can't tell. Okay, so, so this is their poop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is their poop. Yeah. Uh, because they eat, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. like. Uh, maybe they are raw feeders. Yeah. This is it. Oh, nice. The reason why the elephants, well, during their mating season, they don't come around here mm. or they come in the groups. Yeah. The reason is that the the females don't come here at all. Within oh, okay. The three square kilometers here. Mm. Yeah. So they stay in Tida. So once they are mating, all the males compare to get to uh, wherever the females are. Ah. They to meet them. Then so what we saw is a male? Yes, they are all male. If you see any elephant here within here, then it's, it's, it's male, no female. Oh, we I never see. encounter a female elephant within the three square kilometers here, unless in Tida, somewhere maybe you drive for about. Uh, 15 kilometers 10 kilometers before you are likely to see the female elephants oh, yes. oh wow. i mean the heifers they don't also come here they move with their mothers mm. so it's, only, it's only the calf that when they hand over to the bachelor group then they come with them in numbers especially dry season oh okay yes. starting from december i see december to june that is the best season to, to see come. them in large groups then it means the best time to come is in december january Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. From December to June. Oh, okay. June, yes. Look at the deer. Is it a deer, right? Yeah, no, uh, antelope. Antelope. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me take a picture. What is Looks like the antelopes are so fast. They kept going. Okay, so I've met other um, tourists for the first time. Hello. Too bad I'm doing it alone. Yeah. Come again. You are done, right? I done. I'm now starting. <laughs> it will be on my YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Stella Chanelli. Chanelli. Um, a day that you 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 use the gun to shoot a, um, an animal because it's attacking a human, like one of your tourists or something. No, for me, I've never done it. But has it been possible at the park? Yeah, it's possible because you need to control the, uh, the animals. animals. Mm, especially the elephants, right? Human life uh, is much important. 
Oh, okay. Oh, look at the antelope. So it looks like the antelopes are so fast. When we get closer to them, then they run. So I, I, I'm not getting um, a video of them. Like it's always them running into the bush. There was one behind me, very big one. But by the time we get there. It's gone. How old is the park? Currently, currently. How old is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this park is about 24 years. 24 years. Oh. It's a bad day for me. So we're going to walk down the valley to see the elephants in the pond. Oh, this is a beautiful view, breathtaking. But guess what? You can't even spot any elephant so far. And this is right in front of the Mule Motel. They're not in the water. Hmm. The other guy that down in search for them is really like to walk. Yeah, I don't mind. So <laughs> too bad. I couldn't find them from here, but my tour guide is hopeful that we might possibly see them. And so, I mean, if you decide to come here, if you want to see the elephants in groups, I would encourage you to come in the dry season, not in the rainy season like this. And so, that way you get to see them in groups. And so, we are walking in the middle of nowhere. Thank God I wore jeans. <laughs> So after climbing down the valley, this is where we are now. We are in the middle of nowhere. We are walking, chasing elephants. Oh, look at the deer. Look, look at them. Wow. It's what? A bush what? Bush buck. Oh, I, I saw that they had some straps on them. I see. There are all kinds of birds here though. Oh my god, we just heard the sound of the elephant. Wow, it was good we came. Ah, it's here! Come, come! Very big one! You seen it? Okay, we should, we should pass here. Wow! <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. Have you watched? I mean, even though I've already seen one, I was hoping to see them um, like a lot with their calves and their with their family <laughs> and I didn't so I hope I get they good are, they, are oh, wow. the they are coming to the water now yeah. yay guys hello yes he can come okay yeah, me think, uh, yeah. Yeah, look at it. oh is that the pennies <laughs> yes. hey it's very big it's not fully erected. When it's fully erected, it's, it's bigger like than that. It's very low on the ground. Wow. Yeah. I see. It's a, a, it's a young one. Mm, how it's how old do you think that is? Uh, this one is about uh, uh, 12 years, 12 to 13 years. Yes. Oh, he's so huge. The other one is around 20 years. I wish he can come closer to us. He's hiding behind the bush. Mm, but he's moving toward gradually. The water. They are entering into the water. Oh, wow. He's coming out. Come out of the, of the pond. 
So I have to leave them here. Oh, they're coming out already. They will come out now. So now that I have seen the elephants enjoying the water, it's time to walk back the hill. And that's a long ass distance we are about to cover. <laughs> Meanwhile, the elephants are still enjoying in their pond. <laughs> the difficult part is climbing up the hill. <laughs> He has seen the situation, he says I should hold him. So, yeah. Oh, okay. This is actually difficult too. Uh, because it's very steep. Motel. They actually have a pool, but there's no water in it at the moment. Hmm, I see. We just finished the tour and we are currently at the museum. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the mini museum. Mini museum. Yeah. Top there we have a, a path adder. It's a snake, one of the poisonous snakes. Oh, okay. Can I see it? Uh, no, it's closed. It is, it's closed. Okay. It's a, and mm. You see a, uh, a premature baby. Elephant. elephant. Mm. Well, how, how, how did he get here? Uh, the mother was killed by a poacher. That was 1982. So it has been here for about uh, 30, 37, 38 years now. Wow. Mm. Um, we have the baby elephant here. Oh. As it, about uh, two months. Baby. Baby. Oh, okay. And we have the femur, the thigh bone, mm -hmm. back and front thigh. Okay. You see the difference. And this is the skin that, the hide that we use to design the African map. Oh, okay. Ghana. The, the map of this park. Wow. It's it's very thick. Yes, yes. You can have it here. Look at the skin. It feels like a wood. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is the trunk. This, this is the, the trunk. Scar. The scalp. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's very huge. Feet. Front, mm -hmm. uh, foot, and then back foot. Oh, okay. Yes. And we have the small scalp there. Mm. And then the young one, like the cow. Then the lower leg. And this is the broken task. That's quarter part of it. Okay. That's quarter part. You can have it here. Have it. Have it. Oh. Good. Wow. Guys, it's very heavy. Like, <laughs> look, look at this. Can you feel the weight? It's it's about 
This is like 8 kg. Yeah, it's close to 10 kg. <laughs> yeah. And we have the antelope family here. We have antibis, roan antelope, baboon, cow. And this one we saw one mm. female. Yeah. I was telling you. Mm. And then cop we saw cop a male. Buffalo we drink the buffalo. That's a female buffalo. Mm -hmm. Buffalo? Yes. Okay. We have a water. water. Mm -hmm. We have seen the roan antelope. No, that is the largest and the biggest antelope we have in this park. Oh it's okay. one of the four biggest antelope in the world. And then we have antibis. That's the uh, most uh, popular and then I think I think I remember we saw that we have here. We saw we saw some more than another animal in this park. Oh okay. Antibis. For mm. them as I said, interior they don't come here, they are not familiar with people. Mm. They move in large groups. Oh antibis. okay. They are like horses. And we have water buck again, crop, and this uh, male uh, Water buffalo. Mm -hmm. That's male, male and female. Male and female. This uh, lion and lioness. So male and female. This is different. Water and crop again. And this again. Uh, what what do you use to maintain the way it is? Uh, we just polish. We have a polish. A polish. So we just buy polish to maintain them. Okay, the, so that doesn't remote. go bad. It doesn't go bad. Okay, yes. and this is a skin of. Yes. Uh, whatever the one we saw, okay. Yes, that's the male one. I, I told you that the males are bigger than the female. So, as big as this, that's a whole <laughs> yes. Wow, then it's uh, big. Whatever. This is the entire skin of the water box. Mm -hmm. And this hand is the picture of the hand is this one. Oh, okay. And this is the to learn mind about it is the skin that depends on the one that was spotted. Mm. Doesn't mean that the skin looks smaller. Maybe it could happen, maybe a young one that we, we have seen so, mm. so all the SBs that you are seeing here not intentionally been killed, others are by accident and natural death. Okay. The, yes. Because I'm sure a lot of people will ask. Yes. Yeah. So we have the uh, Grey mm. and then bushback, the mm -hmm. one with the stripes. Okay. The one right there, ah, the one I was, I mentioned. This, yes. Okay. And this cup, we have seen it. It's, it's also Maybe. common. Yes, it's also common. The way they are fast. Yeah. <laughs> they are fast anyway. Mm -hmm. They are And this is uh, a python, African python. This is the uh, head. African python? Mm -hmm. Is it this huge? Yes. We have wow. Then, wow. Crocodile. And over here we have the. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, belong to the poachers, the illegal hunters. Okay. So they were confiscated by the anti-poaching team. Mm. So this gene trap that they used to set up uh, through the antelope trails mm. to get them to catch, so that they can control themselves, so mm. that they can easily kill it. Mm -hmm. And these are their talismans, these are their powers that fortify them in, a, in, a, in a terms of uh, this hunting. Mm -hmm. So they believe in these things that can uh, make them to escape or maybe to also jump some of the animals so that they can get more to kill. Mm -hmm. That's what they believe. Mm -hmm. They go along with all these things. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, footprint of water box okay. and the cup. Mm. Uh, hyena. Okay. And the footprints. We have uh, pork pine spine. You know pork pine? Yeah, pork pine, yes. Yeah. Uh, this are uh, vampire bats, uh, guinea fowl, and mongoose uh, tail, and uh, bee eater. Mm. Red truthed bee eater. And this is the poisonous fish. Oh, I see, I see this uh, in, yeah, in documentaries. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, tortoise, we have turtle. Turtle, uh, yeah. okay. And this one, this one is more, uh, so much, John. Is there anything you'd like to tell um, everyone watching this video? Yeah, I would encourage people to come.
come to experience nature here. It's really good. Yeah. If you don't wait till someone will even come and tell you, you, know the you need to come and experience. Experience it for yourself. So you heard it from John. He was my tour guide for today, and this brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you are enjoying my North experience so far. If you are not watching my North experience, what are you doing? What are you? <laughs> so I mean, amazing episode coming up. So don't forget watch 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 expect my new episode yeah so i'm off bye bye thank you so much for watching